Hello, uh, today we're going to walk through the magic of the Google Sheet behind the uh, Bartle quiz. So uh, the first thing I've done is I've taken the quiz um, and you can see my info right there. And after all of the columns we're going to be adding a few. We've got four here for the four player types. I've coded them in blue. Then four more for the player percentages. Then we've got two columns uh, for dominant value and secondary value and primary type and secondary type. And we'll get to these in a little bit. Okay, so for our first four columns, I've got some uh, information here in Google Keep. So in cell AG for my achiever, um, I'm entering this formula uh, and it's basically searching for any cell with a star as the uh, um, response. Okay, so I've got uh, Diplomat, and it's searching for uh, across all my answers for the top hat. So I'm pasting that in there, and when I paste it, you can see that uh, what my totals were. Okay, so for Explorer, we've got Count FD2 through AE2 has a little astronaut, and for Provoker, uh, same same setup for the formula, uh, searching for the skull. And I'm not a provoker, so mine should be zero. Very good. Okay, so the next set of four columns are percentages. So uh, based on the form, uh, we have um, basically a division problem. So we're referencing the the columns we just made. So for Achiever, uh, there are 18 questions that have a potential Achiever answer. So we are dividing L AG, our Achiever total, by the number of total possibilities, which is 18. So next up is Diplomat. Similar setup, only we're dividing AH by 11. Um, and then next is Explorer and we are dividing a AI uh, by 16 so you can see I put AI2 in there that's what we're referencing and then for provoker um, it's equals AJ divided by 9 so I'm just copying that, that formula into the cell Um, the next thing I'm doing is highlighting across all four columns, uh, format number, and changing that to a percentage. So it looks a little cleaner. Okay, so now we've got totals and percentages, and now we are calculating the dominant value. Um, so here's the formula for that, uh, equals max um, for the range AK2 through AN2. And when we paste it in there, we should see which one is the largest. That is my diplomat. And then for the secondary value, uh, this is a little bit different, but it's equals large across AK2 through AN2, comma 2. So the second, the second highest value. So that is my uh, achiever percentage. And then highlighting and formatting numbers for percentages again there. Okay, so now we are uh, working on primary and secondary type uh, in the cell. So um, we're posting, we're pasting this nested if formula into AQ2, um, and basically it's searching, uh, referencing AO2, which is my dominant value, um, to see which one uh, is dominant. So um, fixing it here, uh, referencing AK2, A M2, A N2, and A L2, so the percentages. So it's basically saying if my dominant value matches one of those, put the matching player type out here. Um, similar formula for secondary type. Um, I'm just referencing the AP cell, which is the secondary cell. So as I go through and fix these formulas, then we'll be able to see my secondary type, which is Achiever.
Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add another sheet at the bottom of our workbook uh, and name it Player Description. Um, and then across the top, we've got uh, four columns, uh, one for each, Explorer, Achiever, Diplomat, and uh, Provoker. And uh, Sean provided um, a blurb about each player, so what I'm doing here is pasting uh, the blurb in... Uh, the cell below the uh, name. So um, if you don't already know, you can hit command enter and get a carriage return inside of a cell. Uh, so he's got a, a larger paragraph and then a smaller uh, paragraph. So um, I already had these blurbs uh, uh, saved, so I'm just pasting them uh, into the sheet. Okay, so back on our first sheet, the form responses, uh, we're going to add two more columns, one for primary description and a second for secondary description, and these uh, cells are going to reference um, the cells that are on the sheet we just made. Okay. Um, so here's the primary description. Um, this is a nested if formula um, that's basic, basically looking at column AQ, which is the primary type. And um, it basically says if AQ t says explore, then, you, then display the corresponding information for explore. Okay. Then uh, we do the very same thing uh, in AT for the secondary description, which is referencing uh, AR and the sheet on the second page for the descriptions. Alright, so here's a look at the formula. Uh, we're in secondary description. So if AR2 equals explorer, then a comma and a reference uh, A2 and the dollar signs in the cell name are very important because we're going to use a, an add-on called copy down which um, is going to copy down some formulas but we want that reference to stay static not change so the dollar signs will always reference the the same the cell that we've uh, added there All right, so now we're going to get started with our first add-on, and the first one we're going to use is copy down. And if you don't have copy down already added to your Google Sheets, you can get it from the the Chrome store. It's free. So once you have it, you're just going to um, turn it on. But before you do this, you're going to want to complete the form uh, for the first time, so you've got some information in there. So I've got my information and then we put in all the formulas in our additional um, cells or columns and so it's recognizing all of these formulas in row two um, and so that's good that's what I want and basically I'm just gonna click save and uh, copy down is gonna do its magic it's gonna add a column at the end um, you it's telling you not to do anything with uh, row two so that's all you have to do Okay, next up is Autocrat. Um, this is the add-on that's going to take your information and create a document and send via email. Autocrat is super handy, um, so this is one way one way you can use it. So you're going to start a new job, uh, give it a name. So the next part in Autocrat is going to ask you to link a drive template. And this is um, an example of one. Uh, basically what you're going to use are tags that match your column headers so that um, when the information is submitted on the form, uh, it will go into these column tags on this document and uh, generate. So we've got Achiever, Diplomat, Provoker, Explorer, um, and it's going to print the percentages there and then primary player type and it'll list the name and secondary player type and it'll list the name and then in the boxes down below it's going to give the blurbs that are on the player description sheet 
in the uh, workbook. Okay, so now I am choosing the template from Google Drive, my borrow player type document, and then you click next. Um, the next thing you need to do is to make sure your tags line up with your uh, column headers, and they typically do, but you just want to scroll through and make sure they all uh, match up so that your uh, form will be generated correctly. And then next, um, give it a file name, and you can use tags here. So we used a name column on the form named first name, so uh, two um, sideways carrots and first name with a space, and then um, whatever you'd like to call it. I think I did player, player type. And then um, a Google document. Um, then you'll need to make a folder. So we're going to go out to Google Drive and uh, make a folder for all of the uh, generated documents to be stored. So we'll give it a name uh, like Bartle Test Results and uh, then go back to Autocrat and select the folder we just made so that you can get them linked up. There we go. Alright, so I'm not adding a dynamic folder or a merge condition, uh, but I do want to share the docs when I send the email. So I'm going to share as a view only doc. Um, and then in the e email template, I'm going to use the tag uh, email address. So it's going to be sending to uh, the email address of the uh, form completer. And then if anybody wants to reply, uh, for this one I'm, I'm putting my email address so I can get replies. And then a basic subject uh, like here are your results. We say next, and then we want to run on a form trigger. So we're going to say yes there. So every time the form is submitted, uh, Autocrat is going to generate this document and send uh, an email. So we're going to update the triggers there and save. All right, there we have our uh, Autocrat set up. Now we're going to go take the form. So here I am finishing up the quiz and submitting. Uh, so I'm going to go over to the sheet, and you can see my information is there, and copy down has copied down my formulas. And as we just wait, we've got three, four additional columns um, from Autocrat, and oh, there we go. So the original form that I submitted first um, a couple hours ago, and the one I just recently submitted, and I can click on the document, and I can see my percentages, and my blurbs, and... It's beautiful and it's magical and I hope you guys can uh, use this and uh, reach out if you need some help. But thanks for watching.